Good morning, guys. Just caught up on all my office work before I head out to Helsinki. Can you imagine? It's been 10 weeks since I've left my own hometown. And finally, we are able to travel a little bit more here in Finland. Uh, actually, Helsinki was blocked off from the rest of Finland for a few weeks just to control this corona stuff. But now things are getting a lot better here in Finland. And I'm actually heading to Helsinki today to work on a project for a client where we're going to be actually filming and recording a podcast. Something that I've never done before, but happy to try out something new and challenge myself and film this podcast for my friend. But enough about myself. How are you guys doing right now in the midst of Corona and everything? How is it affecting you guys? What kind of restrictions are you guys under? I would love to hear what is happening around the world. So please comment below and share with me. How are you guys doing? How is Corona affecting you guys? Are you guys at work or not at work? How is things there? Anyways, I have some exciting news to share with you. And no, we are not pregnant with my wife Vera, but in some ways it feels like I actually have given birth to something new. And let me explain what I mean by this. Now, back in January, I actually did my very own workshop. It was the first time ever I had done a workshop and it was crazy because once we announced the workshop, literally in a few hours, the workshop was booked. It was at max capacity, no one else could come to the workshop. And the workshop was about how to vlog and start and grow a YouTube channel. And the people who participated in the workshop, they really enjoyed it. And I was supposed to do the same workshop, not only in Helsinki, but as well fly over to Stockholm and do the workshop as well. But we all know what happened. Corona hit, traveling ceased to exist, and the workshop was canceled. But when the workshop was canceled, I started thinking, well, if people enjoyed the workshop so much, why don't I make it available for everyone? So I actually decided to make a new online course on this topic, how to vlog and start and grow a YouTube channel. And just this week, I finally got everything done with the course. It's online, it's published now, and it's available. Now this course is for anyone and everyone who wants to start a YouTube channel, who would love to learn more about vlogging, or maybe you've already started your YouTube channel, but you just need some tips and tricks on how to grow your channel, maybe how to navigate who the channel is for, just to think about a lot of things that you should be thinking about when you start and run your very own YouTube channel. I really think that this course will be helpful for you. It'll answer a lot of the questions that you have, and it'll give you a lot of the behind the scenes of what it's like to run a YouTube channel and what you need to know in order to be successful. So if you're interested in the course, the course is going for $99, a very affordable price when it comes to investing in your learning and your growth. And I wanna thank in advance for every single one of you who participates in the course. Please leave a review of the course. That would be great if you enjoyed it five-star rating, of course, and comment on the course because then more and more people will see the course through the Udemy website. So thank you guys in advance for supporting me and being a part of this course. Okay, on to today's topic. Today I wanna to share with you guys just how much money did I make for my most viral YouTube video. I think for a lot of you guys who are just starting out in YouTube or you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, you're wondering how much money does YouTube actually pay you and is it something that you can actually live off of? So my most watched video right now has around 400,000 views. It's the most viral video that I've made so far on this YouTube channel. Now the ironic thing about this video is, is that it has nothing to do with photography or filmmaking. My most viral video is a video about Finnish homes, specifically my home. I did a tour of my house and what it's like, and I just mentioned a few things that I thought were really unique or cool about Finnish homes. If you haven't yet seen the video, I'll make sure to cart it up here and you can check it out. But yeah, my most viral video has nothing to do with photography or filmmaking. It has everything to do with Finnish homes. I guess people are very interested in cultural stuff. Now, when I posted this video, the first few days, it actually did only okay. It got the normal amount of views. Uh, I think actually in the first 12 days, it only got around 5,000 views. 
But then on day 13, something happened. And I remember that day, I just happened to check my YouTube Creative Studio app, and all of a sudden on day 13, all of a sudden it jumped from 5,000 views to 10,000 views. And then the next day from 10,000 views to 26,000 views, and from 26,000 views to 54,000 views, and then to 82,000 views, to 97,000 views, to 107,000 views, to 116,000 views, and it just kept steadily climbing every single day, many thousands of views, until now, it's at 400,000 views. So, it's May 19th, I posted this video on February 12th, meaning February to March, March to April, it's been about up for three months, and in three months now, it's got 400,000 views, which is really interesting. I'm assuming on day 13, when the video started really climbing, it must have been put on uh, YouTube's recommendations list or some sort of browser function, because I don't know how people are finding this video, but somehow it was being recommended to people to watch, which is really cool, because it means that YouTube decided and thought that, hey, this is really cool content and people should see it. And in my opinion, it is pretty cool. I put a little unique spin on a kind of normal idea by putting my filmmaking tips and tricks into the video. If you check it out, you'll know what I mean. In the beginning, I have some cool epic drone scenes. I have some nice footage of my home. So I was able to mix two worlds of talking about cultural thing and filmmaking into one. So just how much have I been paid for my most viral video? A video that's been watched 400,000 times. For 400,000 views, I actually got 2,000 US dollars for the video in AdSense. Now, this was actually pretty good because I have another video called How to Film B-Roll of Yourself, which you, if you haven't seen yet, I'll also card it up here. But that video has around 100,000 views. So one quarter of the views of my most watched video. But the interesting thing is, is for that video, for how to film B-roll of yourself, a video that's been watched 100,000 times, I only got around 100 US dollars in AdSense, which is crazy. That's 1 20th of the AdSense that I got watched for a video that only been watched four times more in views. So why is that? Why do you get paid more for certain videos and less for other videos? And that's what we're gonna dive into right now. We're gonna talk about the CPM, which is basically how many dollars per thousand views. Now for my Finish Homes video, the CPM, so the amount of dollars per thousand views is $9.57, which is pretty good. Because if I look at my other videos, for example, how to film B-roll of yourself, it was only $7.56. How does that actually add up though? Because if I was to get $9.57 for every thousand views, that's 400 times 9.57, which is actually $3,828. But I've only got $1,929 right now at the moment, around $2,000. And the reason for this is that, of course, YouTube takes its own cut because, well, they own the platform and they also need to make money from the YouTube ads. But I'm not complaining about this because to be honest, I feel really privileged that I've been able to make YouTube content for you guys to enjoy, which I enjoy creating, and at the same time getting paid for it. So that is that. I am definitely not rich from YouTube, but that 2000 US dollars definitely helps to pay the bills and as well to support me to continue creating content for you guys to enjoy so that you guys can become better photographers, filmmakers, and creative business owners. Yes, my voice just cracked there. That's okay, we're hitting puberty round two. Now before ending this video, I wanna help you guys. I wanna help you guys create videos that gain more traction and get more views because ultimately, you guys as well want your video content to be seen and watched by people. It would be pointless making videos on YouTube and no one watching them. That's the whole reason we make content so that people can enjoy watching our content. Now today I wanna to give you four tips on how you can create content that'll be watched by people. Now the first thing that's super important is the thumbnail. Now the thumbnail is kinda of like back in the days when we'd go to Blockbuster and you go to this movie rental store and you basically chose what movie you wanna watch based on the front cover of the DVD. And the thumbnail is the same. When you're scrolling through YouTube, usually you're picking videos that catch your eye because of their thumbnail. 
Now, a huge mistake that people often make when they're making their thumbnails is that they try to put way too much in there, it's way too complicated, the text is way too small, because they don't realize that the thumbnail is super small. Most of the time, people are creating a thumbnail on their screen, it's huge, but then they don't realize that the thumbnail is actually gonna be very small. So what I like to do when I'm creating a thumbnail is, I create the thumbnail and then I zoom in and make it really small. That way I can see that, okay, when it's small, do people actually see it? Is it actually eye-catching? So tip number one on how to make a video go viral is create a thumbnail that's very eye-catching. Make a thumbnail that's gonna want everyone to click that because they just have to watch it because they're so curious as to what the video is about. The second tip on how to get your video watched more is have a good title. Now you can go two routes. You can either do the clickbait title or you can do the searchable title. The clickbait title is kind of like, hey, I almost died. And people are like, oh my gosh, this guy almost died. You want to click it and watch it. Now, I tend to not want to do too much of this clickbaity stuff because, well, people get annoyed. People get upset because they feel disappointed and misled by the title. The other way is making a title that's very searchable. So you got to think about a title that people are going to search on YouTube. So, for example, it could be something like, what are Finnish homes like? Uh, Finnish homes or architecture and design in Finland. These things are going to pop up because people are searching that if they're interested in culture. Or for my niche, maybe I'm going to talk about the B-roll stuff. Someone who actually wants to figure out how do you actually film B-roll yourself, they're going to write how to film B-roll of yourself. So the title of my video is going to be how to film B-roll of yourself. The title is super important because it allows people to find your video. So take time to think of a title that's going to be catchy, searchable, or maybe clickbaity. Tip number three in a step that people often skip is keywording. Whenever you upload a video onto YouTube, at the bottom there's a whole section to create keywords. This is going to allow YouTube to uh, help people find your video through these keyword searches. So for example, if I'm going to make the video how to film b-roll yourself, I'm going to write b-roll, how to film b-roll of yourself, filming b-roll of yourself b-roll challenge and I'm gonna I'm gonna put all these different keywords that are related to topics so that if people are searching for that kind of video they're gonna be able to find it so make sure you take the time to do good keywords for all your videos and last but not least tip number four is audience retention time now the thumbnail the title the keywording that's gonna allow people to find your video and to get people to click and watch your video but if you don't have good content, people are gonna automatically just close the video. And audience retention time is super important. You gotta understand that YouTube is a platform that wants people to watch their videos. The more time that people spend on YouTube, the better it is for them when it comes to monetary value and as well just for the platform itself. Of course, they want people to enjoy their platform. So the longer that you can have people watching the videos, the better. That means you gotta have really great content that people are going to want to watch from the beginning to the end that they just can't stop in the middle of the video. And there's a lot of different kind of techniques that you can use for this kind of first and foremost, I think the best is just have good content. If it's good content, people are going to watch it. But as well, things like leading people through the story, maybe instead of just um, revealing everything right in the beginning, uh, trickle it throughout the video. So it's going to tease people to watch the whole video. There's just small tips and tricks that you can use, but really ultimately it's about creating good content so that people want to watch the video to the end. These are four tips that aren't going to cost you anything, but they are going to help you so much when it comes to uh, growing a successful YouTube channel. You ultimately, of course, want people to watch your videos, so that's why it's really important that you take these steps and make sure that your video is a success. Because really, what's the point of taking all this time to plan, shoot, and edit video, but then you don't take the time to do the final steps so that video gets watched as much as possible. So make sure that you don't skip these steps and make sure that you do them well. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this week's video. Again, if you haven't yet checked out my course, please go check out the trailer and participate in the course. I would love it because I really think that it would be beneficial for you guys, especially if you're interested in starting your very own YouTube channel. All right guys, have a fantastic week.